All right. Hello, everyone. It's Joseph here. Welcome back to my YouTube channel. And in today's video, I'm going to be teaching you guys how we can fix the Secure Launcher 2000 error for GTA 4. So there are typically four common things you can do to fix the 2000 Secure Launcher error for GTA 4. Number one, you simply don't have Games for Windows Live installed. And, just, uh, and for GTA 4, Games for Windows Live is a requirement. The servers went down some time ago, but as a client for the software, it needs to be um, at least installed to your PC and an account needs to be tied to it. If you are not able to link your account or if you simply don't have one or are able to make one because the services went down for it, you can download the Essentials Files folder that I have mentioned in my LCPDFR 2021 tutorial for GTA 4 and extract the xlive DLL file from that. Only downside to that uh, DLL file is that you will only be able to use a local save instead of using a cloud save from Steam or Rockstar Games. So apart from that, if you already have Games for Windows Live, but you're still getting the error, um, I recommend checking out Microsoft.NET Framework 3.5. All right, make sure that you have downloaded this as well. All right, make sure to run that and install that. Now, if it has a recent version, um, I know there's a 4.0 version, um, you can be sure to install that version as well. So last but not least, um, you are most likely are just missing uh, Microsoft Visual C++ the 2005 service pack one redistributable uh, package MFC security update. Now, most people overlook this because typically GTA 4 is a 32-bit game and natively it won't work without it. So we can download the x86 version and because it is a redistributable package, um, it's highly recommended to use the x64 version as well. IA 64, I believe, is a developer thing, so you don't need to download that. But if you're just a player like me who's just there to mod the game or to even get it up and running, um, you will need the both uh, versions of 86 and 64. Last but not least, uh, you would want to run the GTA 4 game in administrative mode as the last resort to fix the SKU 2000 launch error. But apart from that, I hope this tutorial has been helpful. All right, thank you so much for watching, and I'll see you all next time. Peace.